Hello, my name is Henry Enfrey, and this is a Raylib game development tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a walking animation that could be controlled by the keyboard controls on your computer. So to start this tutorial, the first thing I made was this sprite sheet here. As you can see, I have the this first one is going to be the first animation. This is going to be the second animation, and this is and these two are going to have to, to do with when Henry is walking towards the right. And this next two animations have to do when Henry is walking towards the left. It's going to involve this third animation and this fourth animation. Okay, so that's well, that's all we had to deal with so far. Never mind all this other stuff. We're just dealing with this sprite sheet first. So let's go to our code. And this is what our code looked like. And this code was kind of like adopted from the examples that are on the Raylib website. I just fixed it up so that it can work this what we're doing in this tutorial. So to start, this stuff here was just, we include our Raylib. And this stuff just come pre-packaged with this example here. So just put this stuff up here. Okay, and then we have our main loop here, main void in brackets that ends down here after this return statement. So here we, we initialize our current frame. The frame once we launch our game is going to start at zero. As far as the computer is concerned, this frame here is zero. When the game launches, it's going to start with this frame right here. This is the first frame in which the computer calls zero. Computers don't count like humans. They start with zero while humans start with one. So this frame right here is zero. And then we, this is our frame counter. This is like the engine of our walking animation. This is what makes the animation play. It's kind of like the engine. And then this frame speed has to do with how fast our animation will be playing. Then we have the screen width. The screen is going to be 800 pixels wide and 450 pixels tall. Screen height. And Henry X and Henry Y. This has to do with where Henry's going to be at on screen once the game launches. Remember, X means right and left, and Y means up and down. So this says that Henry is going to start off 350 pixels from the left and 280 pixels down at the bottom from the top. And move X, that has to do with how fast Henry will be moving on screen. Whenever we press the right key or left key, this is independent of the actual animation. So next we take the screen width and screen height and just plug it into this function here to make a screen appear and work. We took Henry's initial positions and plugged them into this function right here. And then we just took our sprite sheet, this sprite sheet here, this henry.png, and we put it in here and loaded it into the memory. This part right here, this rectangle frame, let's say our animation is moving to the right or left. Well, all this does is hide the other frames so that we'd only get, let's say we're moving to the right. It's, it's so that we'd only get these two frames right here while we're moving to the right. We only get the frame 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and we won't be getting the other frames while we're trying to move to the right. So that's what this part is. It'll make it so that our animation won't look weird while Henry's trying to walk. And the game will be running 60 frames per second. And here we got our while loop. This while between this parenthesis right here and this closing parenthesis right here. From here to here. Between these things is what runs our game. It makes all our movement possible. Otherwise, if the, these things that are inside of these parentheses were outside of this, uh, nothing will move on screen at all. This while loop is what makes our movement possible. And this part, frame counter, plus plus, like the engine that runs the animation. So now it says if we press the right key, our Henry will move towards the right. For example, even if we like just delete this part right here, Henry will still move to the right. But here we tacked on some animation to it. So this next if statement says, while the right button is pressed, not only will Henry move towards the right, but these animations will play 
and it will and the animation will go at 60 frames per second uh and the frames will just be between 0 1 0 1 0 1 remember just on our spreadsheet 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 is referring to these two frames right here and all that will happen for 60 frames per second and and this part right here frame that x this part right here uh, once again this makes it so that we'd only get the frames having to do with Henry walking towards the right and nothing else you only we only be dealing with these two frames right here and not all these other frames so it will look normal and not look weird and as for the when we press the left key it's pretty much the same thing as we got up at the right it says if Henry presses the left key first of all without these animations uh, Henry will move towards the left but with the animations Henry will get, give the appearance of him walking to the left at 60 frames per second uh, the the frames will increment or go up and it'll be just deal with between two three two three two three this plus makes the, uh, makes it go from two to three see right here two three two three two three because we're dealing with only our left walking animation now okay so that's what that is close both brackets otherwise if you're working in C++ or JavaScript any language that deals with brackets the whole game won't work if you got if you don't have these brackets here and then just put these next things just put this begin drawing function right here in with a uh, colon and Clear background so that when the game loops, you always get that white background uh, that we're going to get once we launch our game. And this part makes it so Henry appears on screen. And Henry will appear as a transparent color. This white is a trans will be a transparent color. If you put blue here, then Henry will be blue instead of transparent when the game begins. But we put white, so Henry will be normal looking and it will look like the, what he looks like in the sprite sheet we in drawing in drawing right here and then just um, put all this other stuff uh, make sure you put unload texture Henry we're working with uh, this texture called Henry see remember we called it Henry here so put Henry right here and then we close the window so th that's pretty much it so let's launch our game and see what happens so to launch our game we press the F6 function on our keyboard. So let's hit F6 and see what happens. And then when you get the screen, just click OK. And wait. And then BAM! So we have Henry. And once again, he's starting at the zero frame. See? This is the zero frame. We're starting this far left frame right here. The zero. What we'd call first frame, Peter started with what it calls the zero frame. So we'll call it zero frame. So this is the zero frame. That's what Henry start with. Okay, so when I press the right key, Henry moves to the right. And then when we hit the left key, Henry walks to the left. This computer does it fast. And you can see the sprite sheets over here. 010101 for moving to the right. See, 010101. Zero, 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 zero. it's, it's hard to say, but uh, you get the point. And 232222 for these two. So that's all I want to show you. Take what you learned in this tutorial and expand on it. Put more animations on here and put more things moving around on the screen. Till next time. Thanks. Bye. Dude.